belief is equal to the force of 99 who have only interest. Rightly quoted by John Stuart Mill. Today, we are talking about, or rather, we are going to discuss about the most important aspects of children's life, that is, how to improve their memory. Each and every child who is going to face the exam is exactly suffering from a great problem of how to concentrate. I'm sure that these tips that I'd like to give you will provide you ample reasons to master the skills of memorizing. So what are the techniques that we have to adopt? First of all, we have to you know, find a place that needs a lot of focus and concentration. What exactly blocks us when we study something? Sure, distractions. When we select a place, it should absolutely give us a beautiful ambience to enjoy every bit of studies. So when you select a place, it should be free of distractions. A mobile, a telephone, uh, or rather a television, all these kind of electronic gadgets can at times create a panic because when you are trying to you know, focus your reading, you will be affected by the presence of this kind of gadgets because if the phone rings, automatically your attention will be distracted towards that. So better try to avoid all these things. So this is the first thing that we have to plan and do when we try to study something. And the second one thing is avoid cramming things. We, when we try to study, we have a tendency to include as many textbooks and all, all the details or documents related to it. For example, if you study a subject, just take the books related to the particular subject only. You are not supposed even to take a dictionary with you. If you have any kind of doubts that is popping up, just take a piece of paper and a pen with you to jot it down. And to, when you finish only, go and to, you know just check the things you want to check. So cramming is another thing that we have to avoid. Some students actually collect all the books they have to study. It's because of the lack of proper planning. This is not going to provide any kind of support to you. And the next one is organize and structure things. We have to plan just before start studying something. What are the things that we have to give a lot of priority? Again, I'm telling prioritizing is the most important thing that we have to be careful about. Yes, that's the way we are talking about prioritizing. So what subject is to be given importance is a great thing that we have to be careful about. So while dealing with subtopics, you know, if you feel some subjects you're very comfortable with, then try to think very prudently and just try to understand. We have to give, we want to give a lot of stress and importance to the subjects that we feel a little difficult. So whichever subjects we have a little difficulties or a kind of predicament we are facing, that should be given priority. The next one is mnemonic tools to be used properly. Mnemonics can be anything. It can be a kind of a short poem. It can be a kind of a comic strip or a comic piece of a picture. Whatever you feel can be used. Sometimes when we are you know, dealing with grammar and all this, we normally explain the grammar concept in the form of a rhyme. So this kind of mnemonic techniques will quickly stuck into our mind. And that is the thing that we have to practice very seriously. The next one is rehearse things and to elaborate things. Elaboration and rehearse is another thing that we have to practice. If you study a sentence or a small short question, what we have to do after studying it is just try to elaborate it as much as possible as if we are explaining it to a child who is not able to understand the concept. So go far and wide to reach the full depth of the subject and this tool and technique will exactly bring a kind of serious knowledge to the mind and our memory will surely be enhanced. And rehearsal also is very important. Once you finish your topics, we have to plan uh, simultaneously a, a particular time to make the revision or a kind of a relook into what we have studied. And the next one is the most important one that everybody should practice visualizing things. If you are able to visualize the things that we study and when you are able to connect it with something else, absolutely it will never go away from your mind. It will exactly remain as an indelible picture in your mind. So visualization is a beautiful technique that we ought to practice. And coming to the last, the most important one, 
sound sleep. It is actually a fabulous thing that we have to. Most of the children exactly spending day in day out to studies, meaningless. You need proper sleep. And to proper sleep will really enhance the memory power tremendously. Scientific researchers have exactly proved it that this kind of a practice of sleeping uh, soundly will also help us a lot. And I just uh, would like to remind a beautiful quote by APJ Abdul Kalam. He once said, Believe yourself before you pray, yearn before you spend, listen before you speak, and to them uh, think before you write, try before you give up. I repeat, try before you give up and live before you die. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you for watching this. For more videos, watch this channel and subscribe by pressing the bell button. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead once again.